Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I am Clementine, and as always, I'm Super Saiyan! But never mind that. In this video, we're gonna take this medical sonar device and convert it into a high-gain guitar amplifier. Which could also be used as a preamp or a dirt box. I will show and explain the entire process in detail. The techniques used in this video can also be used to turn basically any battery or wall wart powered radio or Bluetooth speaker or even your dad's old Walkman into a guitar amplifier or powered monitor. If that sounds like something you might be interested in, stay tuned! This is an ultrasonic Doppler flow detector. And I just took this 16 year old battery out of it. This thing's been outside, no telling how long. It was found in the bushes. And I just hooked a wall ward up to these battery wires here and it came right on. Look at this. Look how good these electronics are. Has a full manual inside. It makes kind of a static like a radio right now, but I think that it's just a really good stereo amplifier. So if you look at these two probes, 8.2 megahertz probes, I'm going to hook something up to this and see what it does. If it oscillates, it's a synth. If it, uh, right, look, look at them nice chip slots. LM386. Got a couple of transistors. I know what it is. It's an amplifier. This might be an awesome little guitar amp. Or due to the fact that it has an earphone output, it might be the most killer stomp box ever. Use it as a preamp. I turn it up. It was loud. It was... Well, here I have... A, an adapter or a jack for a wall wart here's the 12 volt battery wires I'm just going to put that jack in here and hook it up let's see I don't know what that's made of but that is freaking hard so Let's unscrew this. Get this thing in here. Come on now. There we go. Make sure I didn't get them in the speaker. Now, don't that look like it belongs? right back I'm gonna figure out which pin is which I'm gonna plug it up and show you what it does look at this made in Mexico Mexico I don't know about you guys but I'm not used to seeing North American components in something you can see all the things where it's been serviced serviced over and over then I figured out the long pin was the uh, ground and now Let's lay it in here so it don't get to them things. I'll show you what it does. I will see what it does. Let's turn it off. Plug it up. Uh, this is the wrong size connector. Well, it'll probably still work. Let's turn it on. Now, I'm thinking that it's like an amp oh yeah that's an amp with a high and a low this is a little solid state amp get me a RCA cable and see what I can do it's pretty obvious that it's not an amp but I seen the chips in there. I can find out where the power is going in and I can turn it into an amp. But it's like it picks up any kind of 
stuff. Watch, I'll put it close to the camera. Ah, right, here, we'll switch it. That's pretty neat. I'll figure out what to do with it. Disclaimer. The following techniques to be shown are only to be used on devices which run from batteries or an AC to DC wall wart converter. Do not attempt the following technique on any device that runs AC wall outlet mains current. You could be badly injured or receive painful electrocution. This is especially important when working with devices which contain vacuum tubes or valves. The voltages used in these devices may be upward of 5 to 600 volts. Attempting to modify these devices without proper caution and experience may result in death. Okay, I found me several places. The way I find them is I touch them. If you ever had a guitar amplifier, you pull the cord out and touch the cord. Eh, eh, eh. So we got one here. We got a one there, one there. This one's kind of weak. This one's kind of strong. So here would be like a medium strong input. But here is a hella strong input. Take a ground from the case. Okay, I'm gonna drill a hole in here and put me a jack in it and I'll be back in a second. If you didn't have any luck with this technique or if you were scared to lick your fingers and go touching around on a board, I don't really blame you. Or if you still insist on using a device that has mains power or vacuum tubes, you proceed at your own risk and against my warnings and surely do not do this without a proper ground, meaning a plug with three prongs and a properly grounded three hole power outlet. You can locate the volume knob and wire it according to this diagram. Though there may be a small loss in gain, as the volume knob is usually placed after the first stage of amplification. Before I make an amp out of this thing, I'm gonna use it as a shortwave radio real quick. Let me grab this and use this as an antenna. Turn that way down. Don't want that to happen. <laughs> There's the phone. I want to see how far I can back one of these out. Can I get it clean out of there? If I could disconnect it, that'd be great. There's some phone cancer. Yeah, we'll take those on out. Now let's see about this one. Disable them coils. Yeah. This will probably all be better once it's in that shielded box. And if I need to, I'll shield the back of the box. It's time for a hole. So, let's take this thing and run it backwards. Backwards, pro tip. What burrs? I sanded this corner. 
so that it would be naked and it would poke up a little bit so that when I put this in here it's gonna touch the metal on the back and ground it real good and since this is a ground plane and I checked this with the meter it's grounding pretty good so I'm gonna use this ground post here with a piece of coax like a uh, shielded wire and run it to the positive over here and then that way we'll reduce noise and this box will work as a like a Faraday cage now it's time to solder these wires and like I said this uh, ground here is just for a shield on the other end of this wire I have the ground tucked back and held in with a, a, a piece of shrink wrap and we're just going to only use the hot over here on this resistor I seen it suck it in the tip of this has plumber's flux on it I know argue with me if you want but it is one of the greatest things ever am I really about to work on a circuit board with a big giant soldering gun yes I am let's see right here at the top of this resistor Somehow I can do surface mount stuff with a big giant soldering gun. I use it for everything except for guitars once the magnets are in the pickups. But when I'm building the pickups, before they have magnets, it gets done with a soldering gun. I'm going to take and tuck it. Watch it suck that stuff in. Boom. That ought to be good. If I didn't kill that resistor, we're okay. And these are good, like, Mexican resistors, so I should be having a guitar signal now. There's stuff bouncing around in that speaker that I've got to get out of there somehow. Mud and dirt or something. I might have to take it apart and clean it out. But... Yeah, now it's uh, ready to put back together if I'm not going to do anything else to it. Hopefully the way that I've knocked the corner off of this will Faraday cage this thing and shut it up some. And, and I am surrounded by AC110 wires and fluorescent lights. But this is basically a radio. So it's going to pick up something. I've basically disabled these. More phone cancer. Yeah, that's it. You hear that? That's phone cancer. Take take something like this that's sensitive close to a cell phone tower and see what it does. Then you'll figure out that you should be wearing a aluminum foil hat. Maybe the guys who wear the aluminum foil hats are homeless on the side of the street telling you Jesus is coming. Maybe they ain't so stupid. Here's that Faraday cage thing I was talking about. See, here's my piece of metal. Listen. Becomes a Faraday cage. But that's ready to put together and rock out on it wow that is fucking loud hope this don't be too loud for the camera but here we go with it turned down real low This is a P90 in a bridge position. I think that's a little too loud, so I'm going to turn it sideways. Up. 
plenty to weigh so it ain't too loud. I'll tell you what, it is really damn loud. Here's all the way up. Sounds best about halfway. Then I can crank it up for some lead. This is a crappy cord. See, now, now it's all the way up. You can barely hear it. We're gonna try this thing out as a dirt box with some better, better cords into a tube amp with a 10 inch Alnico speaker. Let's see what we got here. Still on a P90 in the bridge position. That just about does it for this video if you found this entertaining or educational in any way bitch slap that like button if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more of the same or maybe some pickup building from scrap 2x4s and the cheapest parts available. If you'd like to see a custom guitar being built from an oak table. If you enjoy circuit bending electronics, making music, or useful devices that are normally expensive being built from trash. Check out my back catalog and maybe subscribe. I'm Clementine. You've been watching Heavy Metal ATC. Till next time. Wow, that is fucking loud. <laughs>